Hi guys. I'm sorry for the attire. It's a little cold in here. My wife likes it really cold, and so the air conditioners run um, pretty strongly. But nothing that little coffee won't handle. This message came this morning in prayer, early, early in the morning. I wasn't even, I did, just barely got up and was just barely praying. Um, sitting in my favorite prayer place in the house. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, Hebrews 12. And he said, this was full circle on repentance, of repentance. It, we've been missing the mark, guys. But the two scriptures were um, Hebrews 12, all of it, and then it was one of my favorite scriptures, and it's, you know, been broadcast a lot lately, over the past, what, two years now, but a long time, even before then, but Second Chronicles 7.14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. That's the Old Testament. New Testament is Hebrews. And kind of what's the difference? This is several several layers of a message but i'm going to combine them because i there was one that I just couldn't get out and I, now i know why <laughs> missing piece would be jesus god's plan man guys been to plenty of churches it's like he, uh, he's an afterthought in a lot of them you just a little say a little something about them and then at the end of the prayer it's in jesus name you know <laughs> no it's not it's not an afterthought it's a well thought out plan god's salvation plan that would be jesus but we got to do what's the first piece of it which is repent Change our ways. Turn from our wicked ways. Yeah, the Old Testament. But to get to Jesus. He doesn't want to get us through it. He wants to get us to the cross. There's no getting through it. I hear that all the time. You know, you go to wherever. You shop or whatever. I'm just trying to make it through the day. Well, there's no getting through this, guys. He wants us to the cross so that we can enter in. to the kingdom, to the throne, to God's grace. That's his plan. And we exclude him. The stone that the builders rejected, that's one of my messages, guys, that's out there, but I'm not the deliverer, I'm the delivery guy. So I'm just gonna deliver it. Take it where you want it. We've got to repent. We're this prideful, arrogant nation as a as, as as a nation as people, and we wonder why we're at where we're at. Don't believe me? You go down to the Federal Reserve or whomever is in charge and say, "Hey, I want to put in Jesus we trust on a dollar bill. Take God off of it, and you'll get the stink eye for one. You probably won't even be able to get in. Say it's say that to the church. You'll get the stink eye too. Most of them." Why? Because the enemy's trying to use the deceit to think that we don't need Jesus. When that's God's plan, guys. They got some other way to get there. Like almost like the stairway to heaven, which is a rock and roll song. You all know that one. Most of you do. They got some secret sauce, some secret formula recipe or whatever. No, they don't. That's the devil mixing stuff up. Deceit, lies. I'm sorry. In Hebrews 12, it talks about chastisement. Guys, I was doing his will. It was 90%, whatever percentage, pretty high percentage. But I thought it was 100%. But it wasn't. I deviated just a little bit. 
to do Stevie's way, not God's way. Not Jesus' way, not the Holy Ghost's way. And I had plenty of warnings, but it was pride that had blinded me. And I didn't think that. Like, man, I've been got saved 40 years ago. Pride was the least on my radar, seemingly. But it was deceptive. And I deviated from it. So my chastisement, guys, right now, I'll tell you this full story sooner or later, but right now, man, my behind is still on fire from the refiner's fire. Laying there 20 feet on, I can smell flesh wherever I go. It hurts. A lot. But I'm coming to the cross with it. And I see the light. Not the light of my behind on fire, but the light of the world. I see where I erred. And it's been pretty brutal. So, but I have to repent like everybody else. We have to repent as a nation. You know, for all of them pick one. All the social media has been the latest road rage. People spit stuff out and they run. <laughs> and their computer and they're gone and it's a bunch of garbage mostly, really. Sorry to say. We haven't really truly repented. We can't. We say we have. We only repent because we want something. It's time to change and turn from our wicked ways. Ephesians 1 was also highlighted. But this is about two or three weeks ago. And it's 10 through 26. But that's the part about one of the things about Jesus. And it's been you know, the equation, read it, and it, you'll see that it, it, it correlates to what I'm talking about here. But it's time to repent, guys. If you really mean it, me included. Whatever it is, mine was pride, and I didn't think it was there. Arrogance, whatever. Some of maybe all of that wrapped up. My old known old pastor used to say that an excuse was just a reason wrapped up in a lie. No more lying to the Holy Ghost. This was the other piece of my message, guys, and it relates to what I'm talking about, about the repentance. We better get on our knees and really repent. Or this script is going to get flipped upside down in the world. And we will enter into tribulation real quick. If we don't start repenting and change and turn from our wicked ways. But this was part of the message out of Ephesians, but it correlates to this, what I'm talking about. Why are we better than Ananias and Sapphira? When they lie to the Holy Ghost. Or any of them. There was sin in the camp in David's era. And he went to the and he went to the he went to the camp and he heard I, I think I got the story right. I tried to find it and I was having some difficulty finding it because right now I'm just part of I'm in a difficult spot in life. It's not just the chastisement of the Lord, some of it's just the relentlessness of the enemy did various different things, but one of them is I had some more brain strokes and they were pretty serious this time around. They were serious two years ago. I couldn't even walk. Parts of my brain had died. Well, this time it's like you know, I've been in the same area of Dallas for 35 years. You know, there's a stop sign and I've been there hundreds if not thousands of times at the same place. I was like three blocks, four blocks away from where I was going. And I was lost as a goose in high grass. Didn't know if I should stop, panic, turn. It's way, way worse than that. But it's got not God's not getting me through it. Learning, teaching me to have total faith in him. 
because right now I ain't got a brain, guys. So I'm really living that scripture. But this mind being you, which is also in Christ Jesus. I ain't got one. Elvis has left the building. I'm literally a walking miracle, honestly. I'm just being I'm point blank, honestly. There's no pride involved in that. But why do we think we're better than Ananias and Sapphira? Cain when he killed Abel because he didn't he was mad about his sacrifice and it got Esau so his birthright for a little bit of food guys the list could go on and on <laughs> it's because of Jesus we're not better but we're under that grace and the blood of the lamb and if we take that out of the equation, we got nothing. Guys, you can't do it your way. This is not Burger King. God's got a plan. It's another piece of the message. And yes, it correlates with it too. Because of maybe just because of what I'm facing right now. But it's, you know, I've had a couple people that was like, man, it just, I was. Should have seen it, but pride had me blinded. I should have cut the toxic ties with them. And I didn't. Waited too long. Got pride. And then there's that, you know, it was like, turn the other cheek. I'll just forgive him, love him like Jesus does. Okay, yeah, that's great. It's a canned answer. Oh, yeah, it's in the Bible. That's a canned answer. Go ask the five wise and the five foolish. Ask the five foolish virgins. We get everything in your name, God. We cast out devils. We did. We raised the dead. We did this. We did that. What did he tell them? Depart from me, for your work was a, as of iniquity. I knew you not. Did Jesus turn the other cheek? So, guys, we take the stuff out of the Bible and we twist it. And that, that's why I said this is the old repentance and the new repentance. And it's one and the same. There's a reason why God does what he does. God, he has a perfect plan and he knows his plan and he's not going to deviate from it because of us. We're in and we're out. Going to turn or burn. I'm just not going to be point blank, guys. Nobody likes that. They don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that message. I don't want to hear that. But it's true. You don't like that page in the Bible? Tear it out. Guys, God's got a plan, and we can't deviate from it, even a little bit, because that's what the enemy wants, just that little bit. That's one of my messages about, just that little bit. Little foxes spoil the vine. Little leaven leavens the whole lump. <laughs> you got water, and you put a little bit of salt in there, and salt water, and then suddenly, it doesn't take much. To change it into yuck. Unless if you're trying to gargle with it, you know, then, you know, you're trying to do it for healing purposes. But then, then, not my point. It's that we've got to repent, guys. As a nation, or we're not going to have one to live in. We'll live under bondage. We're headed straight for that, guys, right now. And I'm not politicizing this. It doesn't matter who's in charge and who's not. It doesn't. It doesn't because we have to pray for them. And absolutely. And a lot. We have to pray for the right person. That can change the equation. But right now, we're headed into bondage. And we just, everybody's in la la land. <clears throat> Thinking it's good. It's okay. Just kind of ignore it or just. <clears throat> We've got to truly repent, guys, and take his chastisement. It's like, you know, when I'm, you know, when I spank my kids, man, it hurt my heart. Now, for now, if I did it, you, child abuse, you'd probably go to jail, honestly. Stupid stuff, okay? It's changed a lot. One time I came home and both my, my kid, one of my kids and a neighbor kid were acting foolish, very foolish. Guess who got up, guess who got up? 
It got a good pat on the butt. Both of them. And I sent them home. Neighbor kid. Right next door. Man, the, his mom wouldn't talk to me for years. Probably five, ten years. A long time. She'd just throw her nose up in the air and walk past. and Not even high, bye. Just <clears throat> not even nothing. So I spanked her kid. But God... When he chastises, he chastises those that he loves. Why? Because he doesn't want to see us following in the footsteps of the devil and entering into something that he never created for us. He wants to walk with us in the cool of the day and talk with us in the cool of the day, guys. He wants us, friend, us as friends, not enemies. But we're not repenting. Mine was because of pride. I don't know what yours is. Maybe it's pride. Maybe it's multiple things. Maybe I still got other stuff. I'm sure I do some in some areas. I don't. Some I know. Some I don't know. You know, if I know about it, I try to make very, very stout corrective measures and take it to the Lord. But sometimes we don't know about them because we're blinded by the enemy. That's how this pride was. Still reeling from it, guys. The refiner's fire. But I see what he was doing in it. And why. So I'm okay with that now. Wasn't. Even as little as a couple months ago. Questioned everything really at that time. It's like, man, God, what? You know, long, long story. Too long for this message. But we've got to repent, guys. Turn from our wicked ways. Humble ourselves. I mean, it's hard for Americans to do. We think we're better than everybody, honestly. We think that, you know, it's all the rumors of wars and, you know, Russia's going to probably invade because they want the resources of that country. They don't care. It's a business deal, honestly. They're, and they don't care that people are going to die over it. They, they want land. They want the resources. And they're going to blow up a bunch of hogwash reasons and smoke. They're not even blowing up smoke. They're just, everybody knows they're probably going to just pull the trigger any day. And we're rattling our sabers as a country because of, you know, blah, 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 da, da, da. Put, they put COVID on the back burner. No, they didn't. It's just smoldering. It's not even smoldering. It's still burning hot. Just change, a little bit of more hidden agendas and change directions. But, you know, now they want everybody to rally around president because they think they're, you know, going to just stand up against Russia. Because we're a boastful, prideful nation that's not willing to repent, fully repent. Some of us are, and I'm not, so I'm not knocking a lot of y'all. That's not what I'm saying. But most aren't. That's what happened with two of these toxic people I was dealing with. They just, man... They had an opportunity to change too and repent too. And this, and I thought I could change them. That was part of my pride. But I wasn't listening to the God. The God and he said, have you prayed about it? Did you pray about it? I thought I did. But I didn't. Same thing with what I'm saying about this hum humbling ourselves to repent. We haven't really repented, guys. We just kind of put lipstick on a pig and walked away. Mockery. At best. God's word. And will. Our lives. We better get it right this time, guys. Because <clears throat> just like one day, who, who had even heard of COVID in one day and then... Next, you know it. That's all that that that's everybody's. That's that's everything to everybody. <sighs> it 
What are we going to do if the lights go out? If you can't get gas, because pumps don't work, because the computers are down. Guys, I'm not. this is not to make you fearful, okay? It's not what I'm saying. This isn't even to wake you up. This is just to say that the reality of it is we have to repent and watch, pray, and see God's mighty hand in motion. It's for our will, his will to become our way, our life. Gotta get there, guys. Imperative. So, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, five in the morning, prayer. Actually, I've been getting about one or two lately, honestly. It's a little bit brutal. And I go back to sleep, and I still sometimes get up at five. But 5 a.m., it's a time to weep and pray between the porch and the altar and repent as a nation. That's why I said, I'll see you there. Your house is different than mine or apartment or wherever you're staying. But God sees it all. The collective power of a praying nation. If we want to be a nation still, or are we just going to let it go? Think that somebody else will do it. It's on us guys to change, to turn from our wicked ways, and to repent, whatever they are. Name them. There's a you know people name sins, and some are supposedly greater than others, or they act like they are. <clears throat> Less if it's theirs. So much hogwash going on, guys. Brainwashed by the enemy. You want to see God move? Pray. Ask for his direction. And then actually listen to his direction. Don't just blow it off. That's what we've been doing. Ignoring it. Look where we're at. Love you guys. Repent. Because someone coming greater than me, and I'm not fit to tie a shoelace. Repent. Love you guys.